Hello and welcome to the channel. Today is my first day back to weightlifting. It is a push day, so I'm going to be working out my chest, my triceps, and my shoulders. So before we get into it, I would just want to cover off that this is my journey and what I do. My demographic is anywhere between 18 to 70. So depending on where you fall in, please make sure that you are healthy enough to lift. If that is something that you want to do as well, make sure that you consult your doctor and either do your own research or um, get the advice of a certified trainer in order to know what is safe for you. Don't just do what I do and let's get into it. Before we get started, I just want to give you some advice that I find helpful when I'm training. I've been off the wagon for a couple of months and I have really felt horrible about that, so I'm getting back on and I'm just going to give some advice that I have found helpful that hopefully you can incorporate into your training program. The first is to make sure that you fuel yourself for your workouts. Nothing worse than bonking halfway through your workouts and not having the strength or energy to be able to complete it. So make sure you're properly fueling yourself during the day so that you can fuel yourself for your workouts. Most of the time that means making sure you're getting adequate protein intake and make sure you're hydrating. Most people often overlook the importance of hydration and when I say hydration I mean particularly water. Not the best tasting thing for most people but it's what your body needs. So please make sure that you're getting your proper fluid intake in the form of water throughout the day. Most people are drastically dehydrated or chronically dehydrated and don't even realize it. So please up your water intake throughout the day. In fact, go get some water now and drink it for this video and make sure that you're getting more fluids in throughout the day. Next, you should be considering that you should be properly warming up when you're going through your workout. You'll help yourself prevent injury in the long run. And when you're finished your uh, workout for the uh, day, it is always a good idea to properly stretch. It helps with mobility, flexibility, and helps to get those muscles all cooled down. It's always best to stretch after your muscles have warmed up and not before to help prevent those muscles from being injured as well. So let's get into the workout. So today is a push day, so I'm going to be working my chest, my triceps, and my shoulders. So I'm going to be doing several exercises of both, but you're probably only going to see some highlights of each exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that now. Before we actually start, I'm going to cover off some safety tips. I am currently by myself while I'm lifting weights, and there are a few things that I will not do when I am lifting by myself. The first one is I will never ever go for a personal record or a personal best in weight lifting when I am by myself. That is a recipe for disaster. I will never lift my ultimate heaviest lift when I'm by myself. It is guaranteed that something bad will probably happen. So you will never catch me lifting a PR while I'm by myself. It's just not going to happen. I will go for a lighter weight and I will go for higher reps, something that I can lift within the 12 to 15 range. And as that starts to get heavy, I'll remove weight and then keep going for another 12 or 15 reps. It's just much safer that way. And I still get the muscle uh, benefits of lifting those lighter uh, weights because I'm upping my reps. The next thing I will never do is put these which are weight clamps on my weights. Because if something happens and I get a muscle cramp or something terrible was to happen while I'm lifting, I can then just dump the weight off of the bar and get out from that situation. I will never put the clamps on the bar when I'm lifting alone. So these are something I just won't use when I'm lifting by myself. Another thing I won't do when I am by myself is I will not lift without the safety racks. 
You will not catch me lifting without the safety racks. They can help save your life. So if I am lifting by myself, I am lifting with the safety racks. And if I do this, you will see the safety racks right here. Probably not a very good angle, but there we go. Safety racks. I always lift with my safety racks. I will not lift if I don't have the safety racks. Now my squat rack, I can take them off. You will always see them on, especially if I am lifting by myself, but primarily I never take the safety racks off ever. They will always be on, but they are especially on if I am by myself. And there you have it. Those are the three major things I do not do if I'm lifting by myself. So let's get into it. It, it is done the first workout is in the books remember to rehydrate when you are done a workout and subscribe below so you catch all of my progress going forward with my weightlifting journey and i am going to clean up down here and work some movie magic in the editing process maybe speed some stuff up or only show the last sets. Otherwise, this video is going to be far too long. We'll see how it goes, but uh, we'll see how it goes in the editing process. But as always, I'll catch you in the next one and stay amazing. <laughs>